Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I have just done a really cool ribbon pour. I layered up um, some cups without silicon and I layered up one cup with silicon. So I've got a kind of ribbon pour with some layers on top with some cells in it and it's worked really well. But I've got a whole cup of paint left. There was one, I laid up three cups and I only used two. So I've got a cup left. So I'm going to do another pour, another ribbon pour. Um, and I think I'm going to do some more cells on top as well, but with some slightly different colours. Um, I will link the first video in the description of this video. So if you want to see all the colours, all the layering of the cups, um, just click on that link you'll see, and you'll, that will be, you'll take, it will take you through to that video um, so you can watch it. Um, but otherwise, I'm just going to get straight on with the pour now. So this canvas is a 20 by 50 deep edged canvas. So it's a it's a deep edge there. Um, I've used it before for a different pour. I didn't like the pour. So I've just put some gesso over the top. But because it was um, a thick painted pour, there is some texture to this. You can see some ripples in it. So I could only reuse this canvas for something with a similar consistency paint. So I could never reuse it for a Dutch pour because everything will just show through. So because this paint, I'll show you the cup because this paint is also a similar thickness to what was on here originally, I think it'll be absolutely fine. So I'm going to do a ribbon pour with a long canvas. I love doing ribbon pours over the short distance. So I'm simply just going to pour ribbons of paint up and down the canvas. Um, so let's start. Right, so that's covered it quite nicely. Um, so I've also got some paint left over with the silicon. So what I'm thinking, I might layer up that cup as well and then do the ribbon pour again over the top and then stretch it and torch it. I think I might do that. So if I just put that to the side just for a minute without tilting it, and then I think I'm just going to get my, my paints back again. So these have all got a little bit of silicon in. And actually, there's three paints here. These three don't have silicon in, but let's just use them all. I'm going to layer up that same cup that I've just emptied. Um, and then go over the top, see what I get. So to create something a bit different now, I'm going to pour this not in lines. I'm going to pour it in swirls just to see what that does. Right, that is one crazy pattern now. Great, so shall I torch it now? No, I think I'm going to tilt some of this off. There's a lot of paint on here now.
right that's all my edges covered just going to um just make sure the corners are all okay there's just a bare, some bare canvas on the corners So I'm just going to start by just torching a few places. So, for example, these slightly plainer places, like this band of blue, just to see if anything. Yes, brilliant. Ah, oh, some purples come through. That is beautiful. So I think if I can just torch the slightly paler, plainer areas. Oh, wow. Oh, I like that. And try not to over torch, which I'm very good at doing. just one bit that I don't like and that's this line here and that it ends abruptly so I'm just wondering if I can pull it through I can yeah so so happy i have never done a pour like this my pours my straight pours are normally very regimented um they're not really sort of haphazard and all over the place like this it's really it's been really fun to do i love all the lines overlapping um very watery colors and that was the that was the idea um with the addition of the bit of the purple and the pink um but let me show you close up so i'm really happy i've got Areas without cells, but then areas with cells. So you've got real contrast there, plus the contrast of the colours, plus the contrast of the um, the lines in different directions. What a fun, fun painting. So it's a ribbon pour with a twist, with a big, big twist in it. Um, really, really fun to pour. And you can see the sparkle there, so it's going to be really sparkly and shimmery when it's dry. Great, I am quite excited about this one. Right, I'll be back when it's dry. I absolutely love this painting. I love it. It's so abstract and chaotic and disorganised for me. Um, I love it. Um, it really looks like rushing water, rapids um really yeah just water plunging somehow um because it's all so sort of haphazard and all over the place the colors are amazing um let me take you in close up you've got big chunks you've got little lines you've got areas of cells you've got planar areas it's just such a it's so dynamic it's just such a wonderful mixture i think um i love these little pale purpley cells coming through here and here it's just it's just so random. A lot of my paintings are so much more organised and ordered. So it just feels actually really liberating to do something totally, totally different. Um, so pleased with it. The sides, you've obviously got the wonderful design. Just It just dripped down the edges beautifully. Um, let me show you the, the shimmer on this. Um, if I can, oh, I might not be able to. 
Um, I'm thinking about resining it. What you might be able to see is that it is quite bumpy um, and that's because it was quite thick paint. So if it was thinner, it would have leveled better, uh, but it is quite bumpy, but it doesn't matter. If I resin it, I think the colors will just explode and they'll just pop. Um, I am so happy. Um, let me know what you think. Um, let me know, yep, yeah, what do you think? Do you like the colors, the technique, the randomness of it? Let me know. Great, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please leave me comments. Please do subscribe to my channel. Great, thanks everyone. Bye.